All right, guys, today we're gonna unbox Intamsys' new latest offering, the FunMat Pro 310. Now, we've been selling these machines for the last seven years now at the date of this filming, and we've really seen them evolve and grow, and we've been there the whole way along to help. And we're gonna show you all the little nuggets of everything that comes in the machine with the machine for your unboxing. And of course, we do sell these at visionminer.com slash printers. So if you're interested, that's where you can find it. You can also call us or email us to get all the info. So Jay, right. you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Let's first dive in. Okay, so first things first, you do unstrap it. It does come all, all wrapped up, but let's just take this off. So right on top here, you'll notice first, you get a packing list, and this has a whole bunch of everything on it. Go ahead and open that up. And of course, a declaration of conformity because this does have CE. So that's good for Europe. Got their brochure with their stuff and everything they do. Very nice, very nice. On top here, we've also got their new flexible build plate, two build plates, nice. One with handles, one without handles. So I think you'll have to transfer those or print more handles because these look, no, these are silicone. It's high temp, well, it's not that high temp. See, that's the thing, this machine is different from their offerings in that it only goes to 300 Celsius on the nozzle, which is good for most nylons and polycarbonates, but you're not breaking into the peaks or the ultimates of the high temp nylons and things like that with this machine. So this is gonna be more of an IDEX workhorse for like CF nylon and every other material below that. Then a bunch of foam. Back in the day, they used to use this styrofoam stuff, but we helped them redesign and uh, it's much better now. So then they also use this four piece box. Now it's really important when you get this, keep this box somewhere. It's easy to do so because it breaks down into flat pieces. So you can literally take each chunk and just pull it off. There we go. Then you'll see it comes wrapped in plastic with desk skin inside there just to protect it in case it gets rained on or anything in transit. Really, really important. So I'm gonna push it this way and Jay's gonna pull the plastic up that way. So, oh God, this is heavy. Holy crap. This is a beast. Dude, this has got to be at least 200 pounds. So it's got some protective film on there. We'll leave that on for now. Let's go ahead and open up the door and see what's inside. You basically pull all these foam structures out. Now you'll notice they're really well packed in there. They're tightly packed and that's, that keeps everything safe during shipment across the ocean and, and everything. So to get that last box out of there, we're going to have to actually turn on the machine and move up the bed. So for right now, let's go over what comes in the box. Obviously you get the filaments to do your first prints in, get some practice. As far as accessories, you get a little bit of desiccant. That's always nice. Looks like they include a wrench and some sockets. You get these really big, thick welding gloves, which is nice for reaching in and grabbing hot build plates. You get spare fuses. That's really good and handy just in case. You also get a few spare nozzles. It looks like you get some hardened steel and some copper nozzles, a micro SD card and a thumb drive, a scraper. This is great for getting all your parts off the plate. A full set of hex wrenches, which is really good to have. And they're nice and long ones, so you can really get in there and get some leverage. And of course, the leveling card. It's just a feeler gauge at 0.2 millimeter thickness. And then of course, in the other box, you've got your, so these are basically acupuncture needles, which you use to push down through the nozzle or up through the nozzle to clear jams and stuff like that. Really handy to have on hand. USB cable, another USB cable. I think that's USB A and USB B. The power cable, of course. A pair of wire cutters. Wire cutters, always very handy. A pair of tweezers, also handy. And a nice brush for the nozzles. This is for cleaning your nozzles off between prints. Very important. Okay, so that is the accessories. Let's break into this. Let's check out this print head. Jay, you wanna open that one? Yeah. Why not? Let's dive in. What have we? Okay. So, replacement print heads. On this machine, they've gone all out and they include the motor, the extruder, and the hot end all in one. Now, you will be surprised and happy to find out that they did opt to use regular V6 style nozzles. So, we have these available on our website. These are hot swappable and it looks like they did test print it as well, which is great. That's one thing that we've pushed them for over the last seven years is to make sure quality control is there, which means test printing every machine before it leaves the factory. You also got this little silicone sock on here, which should help keep 
material from sticking to the hot part of the print head. Okay, so we're gonna lift this thing up and put it on the table right there. You will want at least two guys for this, and if you got some sort of lift or something, she's heavy. Jay, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna lift up. Whew, and there's enough room to set it down with your fingers still underneath, so that's really good. All right, so the first thing we really gotta do is move that bed up to get the dry box out. So Jay's gonna plug it in right over here. We're gonna plug her in, and now we're ready to turn it on. But before we turn it on, we've got a little bit more work to do. So let's get right into that. Now we're ready. Jay, go ahead and right. fire her up. First time, let's do it. That will turn on the control boards that show the screen and everything else. Let's check this out. Beautiful new screen. Looks like in here we've got USB storage and local storage, six gigabytes they give you in the machine. That's awesome to see. And then we've got a camera, we've got the left and right nozzles and the chamber and build plate controls stabilization stuff. There's a lot more to this interface, which we're gonna detail in a separate video. So make sure you're subscribed and like this video if you want to see that next one. We're gonna be doing a lot more in-depth videos on this entire machine printing and showing off its capabilities and really putting it through its paces. And again, that's what allows us to offer a high level of support here at Vision Miner for all the machines that we sell because we actually use them all every day. So tools, and then we go Axes, that's where you're gonna move everything, including the extruders, build plate, and then we're gonna click the up button. Let's get in here and pull out the dry box. So this is a desk and dry box. As you can see, they got one of those little uh, humidity monitors on there, and it should open up like so. So inside, you get a manual, and, oh, I love it. Here you go, Jay. They called it the in town box. So inside the in town box, you get spare PTFE. Uh, it's actually PTFE to run two different spools from the dry box into the machine. Plugs for that machine. So if you're not using one side, it's not just letting moisture, air, and stuff inside. And of course, you get this, which we'll assemble in a second, but that's desk again. So this is going to keep your filament dry for extended periods of time when sealed in this box. Beautiful inside. Always want to go in and clean any little things out, but get a view of that puppy inside, man. This is all stainless steel, beautiful construction, absolutely robust build platform. Now, as you can see, there's a bunch of magnets on the actual build platform, and that's because they're using a magnetic steel plate, which Jay's gonna bring in here and demonstrate real quick. When you're gonna actually print on this machine, it's kind of nice, because you only have to slide it right in and let it drop. And it seems like it's actually very easy to align, and then you just pull it right off. So, that's cool. Very strong magnets. Hopefully you don't see too much uh, warping with really big parts in there. I think that'll do pretty well. It's on there solid. The other big feature, this is something that was in the patent for Stratasys that expired several years ago, and that is the baffles at the top of the machine. So these baffles are designed to keep the chamber hot, but keep the heat away from all the other electronic components, the motion system, the bearings, the grease, the motors, everything. That keeps it all separate from all the critical components of the machine. Now, let's check out on top. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the hot ends installed. But before we do that, we have to remove these parts here and there. So we need to take these, and it's a three millimeter hex. I'm just gonna take this out, all right? And then I'm gonna take this one off here. 
These basically just keep the extruders in place during shipping. Do not try to print with a machine before you remove these. It will not work. When you get these machines, you know, a lot of our customers sometimes, when it's your first 3D printer, you know, you don't want to break anything. You don't want to damage it and do the wrong thing. But you got to look at it like an 80s Honda, 90s Honda, right? You can take those things apart, put them back together, and just write down what you took, where it came out of, everything, and take the thing apart and put it back together. Don't be afraid. It's, it's hard to, you know, during maintenance, really destroy a machine. You might break a wire or something like that, but just dive in. You can do it. It's okay. All right, she's free. Yeah, that's very nice. Very nice. Okay, so we're gonna center this and position it. So we got these hot ends. Now this one is the left print head. It's from the front of the machine looking the one on the left. So I'm gonna check and make sure there's no little things I gotta remove the first time. And then uh, pretty sure it just goes straight down. Fits right in there. These clip back, so you just push back on those. And now we've got this little clip here, which just goes straight in like this. Clips in, easy as pie. Now we're locked in with the print heads, very nice. All right, this is looking good. So the next thing, now that we've got the extruders in, is we're gonna cut this. And then these are gonna go to their respective heads. Let's see, so this one says left head. So you just press it down on in there. Once it seats, make sure it's seated in there and you can't pull it out. And if you want to take it out, press the whole thing down and keep that little tab down and then you just pull it right back out. So, boom. Now they're both ready to go. All right, so we're gonna put the dry box together real quick. Obviously we have that box with the PTFE. Jay, if you would uh, get this PTFE ready to go. Hoba. And then we're gonna take this desiccant pack out and we're actually going to open this up. Oh yeah, that sizzle and that vacuum pack. Look at this, beautiful. This looks like molecular sieve. I wonder what it actually is. All right, so this just sits right there and there's no electronics, no nothing you have to do. Filament spools, like our metal spools that we sell on our site, actually go right in here. Now the metal spools are really just for super fast drying and super high temp ovens if you're doing peak or ultim or something like that, but they work with everything. And they got nice rollers in here. This is gonna be L, we've got left, and Jay's gonna plug them in, that's left. And then the dry box, we can close that up, snap it shut. So it looks like this will just sit behind the machine. Right. Again, quick fittings, super easy. Really good setup to keep your filament dry during long prints. Again, that's critical as everyone knows now, even PLA, PETG, et cetera, can benefit from drying and staying dry. So ABS, you know, not even to get into the nylons. Nylons, you have to have a system like this or you've got a very short limit on your print time. So it's really great to see they included this dry box. Go ahead and put it right there for beautiful display purposes. All right, so. Hey boys. Cool, great to see ya. We got the new 310. <laughs> I've heard about this for a long time and here it is. That's nice. Yeah. All stainless steel throughout. They got beautiful lights on the inside. The interface is amazing. Wow. It looks all they... very high quality materials. Yep. Build quality looks great. It's definitely come a long way in the last seven years. How's the uh, interface? Interface is, is beautiful. There, is it wireless? It, it does connect by Wi-Fi. You've also got USB, and then this USB is for installing firmware and stuff like that. Interesting. No, it's actually really nicely built. Um, I think it's beautiful. I think it's great. Can't wait to start printing on it. We'll put up uh, I mean, specs I want... of, of the print volume and everything Ooh. right here in text form while I'm making this hand motion. Those are the specs. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. That was smooth. Oh, it's very smooth. It's very smooth. As said before, we're gonna be doing a lot of videos with this machine, putting it through all its paces of all the materials it can do. And if you're gonna consider this machine, that probably means you're doing anything from PLA up to about carbon fiber nylon 
and polycarbonate. It's a good machine, especially if it's your first time getting into 3D printing. Anyway, again, at Vision Miner, we support these machines. We use all the machines that we sell every day, and this is all we've been doing since 2017. So if you've got a question or if you're looking for the right printer for your business, we're here to get you set up with a complete system and even 3D scanners. So the full reverse engineering and production setup for additive manufacturing, that's what we do primarily for high temps like Peak, Ulta, and PPSU, other things like that. Anyway, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Okay guys, so now we're into the ASMR part of the video. So from here on out, we're gonna be absolutely no. Okay. <laughs>